We're gonna do a little bit of punching now. Uh, one of my absolute favorite ways to catch them, kind of hand-to-hand combat, but um, at least in the North Country, I'd say this early fall period is probably the best time to punch. A lot of this grass is getting cut up, um, dying off, and you can see up here, these mats aren't, this isn't grass that's growing out of the bottom. This is cut up grass from boats or grass that's died off and then been blown into some kind of structure, whether it be shoreline, a boat dock. Um, our lakes are about to turn over and that's probably the best time to punch mats just because fishing's typically kind of tough that time of year when lakes are turning over, but the best bite takes place in a foot of water or less. As far as tackle and equipment goes, this is big heavy duty stuff. This is no no spinning poles, no light line. I'm throwing straight braid, like a 40 pound suffix 832 braid, big rod, 7.6 heavy. You can do eight foot if you're into that. The lower you go in gear ratio, the more power you have in the handle. You're gonna be pulling that fish through a lot of matted up grass, and it's really nice to have that extra power you can get on the real handle and really wench on them. Specifically fishing mats is when I go back to a 7.3 to one just for that power. Typically this is all a reaction bite. It's just a fast drop right on their head and don't they just grab it. They're not thinking about it much. So I don't pay a lot of attention to the bait I'm actually throwing when I'm punching mats. Uh, I, I more so select my baits for easy penetration in and out of the grass um, and something compact, something that's not gonna hang up a lot when I'm dropping it in and out of there. As far as weight size go, you definitely wanna fish the lightest you can get away with. But when I say get away with, I want it nine times out of 10 to go straight through the mat. Um, you really lose all your surprise and all that reaction bite when you, you, know, you gotta throw up there and shake it to get through. That really you know, lets those fish know something's coming. And I got it on a four out VMC heavy duty ring gap hook, um, one ounce Wu tungsten, and uh, you know, we might have to go heavier today. We might end up throwing an ounce and a half. There we go, a little better on there. Punched right in the top of the mouth, that VMC. But nice chunky bass, you can see the hole I just pulled them out of, kind of way back in there in the map. But like I said, it's a really fun way to fish, kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is no place for finesse. Big rod, big line, big weight, and uh, you know, set the hook and wrench them out. There we go. Like I said, all the grass is dying off. You can see all this eel grass that's cut up, blown into the bank. Um, provides really good cover for these fish to hide in. They're trying to get shallow. A lot of the rooted grass is pulling up where they're normally living and really creates a good opportunity for them to you know, get up shallow, have some good cover to hide in, and you know, makes for fun fishing, that's for sure.